Hey Taurus, what is going on? I hope you're super well. My name is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be a new love reading for September Taurus. But you know what? Uh, it's timeless so whenever you happen to get it is when you're meant to get it. Um, thank you so much for being here with me Taurus. I really appreciate it. You are so welcome here. And you know, if you find the reading resonates with you, Taurus, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. Sorry, I'm just laughing because I'm... Looks like you're about to get some communication, Taurus. You have the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So, looks like communication's coming. Um, what's this? Ooh. All right. King of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Interesting. So definitely some communication. You might be getting some communication from like a King of Swords type energy. Um, let's see what else comes out, Taurus. So <clears throat> I'm gonna try and do a Celtic cross. See if Spirit lets me do that. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> right, you have the Queen of Cups here. <clears throat> right, what have we got here? You've got the Sun. You have the full, okay, you have a new beginning here. Um, and I want to set the intention with this reading that this is not going to be an ex coming back. This is a new love reading, Spirit. New love reading, only dealing with new relationships, only dealing with like, uh, yeah, no exes, please, Spirit. We can have people from the past, but only if we want them back in, right? No hideous exes, please. Um, but with the King of Swords here, you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or it could just mean this person that's, you're, you're going to get some communication from someone. So whether that's like communication you've been waiting on or somebody new coming in Taurus, they might be a little guarded. Um, this person has been keeping an eye on you for a while. You're about to be very happy. Um, yeah, with that King of Swords, it could be someone quite kind of guarded, you know. Um, it's certainly, you know, you could be dealing with someone the King of Swords is often um, representative of someone that is very intelligent. Like, you could be dealing with someone, um, I'm sure something, yep, yeah, the Chariot. Um, you could be dealing with someone that, you know, does a job that requires a lot of mental agility. Like, I don't know, like a lawyer or um, an accountant or something like this. Alrighty. So it looks like we're not getting a Celtic cross. <clears throat> There's definitely a new beginning coming in. This is new. New, new, new. Um, you might have a choice of people coming in, Taurus. You have the two of swords here. Seven of Wands. Oh, okay. So maybe somebody's going to be blocking this out a little bit here. Um, by the way, Taurus, there's going to be an extended for this reading today. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave. I'll tell you all about it at the end. Um, oh, right. You're getting some kind of offer coming in here, and I, I, it's going to be like a choice for you. There's something here about a choice. You might be a little defensive about this Taurus, it might seem too good to be true. Give the Ten of Cups. There's a King of Pentacles energy down here too. Let's see who else wants to come out. There's certainly some kind of decision coming in here. Um, you might have been waiting on this person for a while. Like if it, for those of you that this is someone you already know, um, you might have been waiting on this person for a while coming in, Taurus. But there's someone coming in to balance the scales here. It could be a Scorpio. Right, there's a commitment. You have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So there's someone coming in wanting to offer you a commitment here. Um, this is a wish fulfillment. You have the Nine of Cups here. This is a wish fulfillment that's coming in for you now. 
Um, I do think you're going to resist it a little bit though and I think it's because you had to wait for this person for so long or just in general you've had to wait for love coming in for so long. Um, you've been in this Queen of Cups energy regardless of your gender. You've been in this Queen of Cups energy which is like kind of healing and self-protection Taurus. Um, whether you're aware that that's what you've been doing or not, that is what you've been doing. But there's there's a new beginning coming in here that's going to make you very happy. Um, yeah, somebody's coming in to offer you love with this Ace of Cups here. It's definitely a new relationship. It's you, you know you could already know this person, but you've not had a relationship with them yet. King of Wands here. You could be dealing with a well. You have most of the signs here, to be honest. But the King of Wands is Aries Leo, Aries Leo Sagittarius. But this usually indicates that someone that's had their eye on you for a while, you know, and for one reason or another, this person has not made themselves known, or they've not made a move, or they've not moved as fast as you wanted them to. But um, you have the Chariot here and now. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Um, there's. Yeah, there's someone coming in. It's it's they're they're determined now, Taurus. They're determined. Um, they're in a place of determination, and they're they're gonna be brave. Knight of Wands is someone being brave. There's gonna be some kind of bold move here from this person. They, this is beautiful because they're seeing you as their queen or the king. You know, however it resonates. Um. They're seeing, like, you're showing up here as this Queen of Wands, right? Which doesn't mean that you're a girl, you know, it's, there's no gender in tarot. But I do feel there's been someone here that's kind of held back for some reason. But this Knight of Wands is like, you know when you're kind of um, pumping yourself up to do something? You know, it's like, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to, you know, make this brave move forward here. But you have the Queen of Wands here with the moon. They came out together. So I do feel this person sees you as their counterpart because you have the two together. You actually have the King and the Queen of Swords here too. So it seems to me off the bat, um, either this person already sees you as an excellent conversationalist or you guys are going to have some good conversations here. Um, also with the King and Queen of Wands. It's, there's like a lot of passion here, Taurus. Like this person sees you as like a go-getter, someone quite um, like fiery. You know what I mean? Someone with a lot of zest, a lot of passion for life. I think there's some elements of you that are kind of unknown to this person with that moon card here. Like they might not know a lot about you. Or if it's not that, then there's a little bit of subconscious fears. I feel like it's a, there's a slightly unknown quantity here about you, to be honest. You kind of give off like a mysterious vibe to this person, you know what I mean? Excuse me. Um, like very independent, maybe very social. Um, but I think maybe you just don't give a lot away, you know? But this person's coming in to offer you, like, you know, if they owe you an apology or they simply owe you an explanation, um, they're coming in to balance the scales here with the Justice and the Six of Pentacles. <sighs> I hope none, it's not an X, right? So they're not going to owe you money. I'm just going to call it and say that. Um, so this is, you know, it's an apology or they're coming in with, like, an explanation of why they've been absent for so long. Um, or if this is someone completely new... Um, you know, it's just a very balanced person that you're dealing with, basically. Uh, but they want commitment. You have the Ten of... Look, I'll just show you here. At the, you have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. You have the Empress, uh, the Emperor down here. And you have the Empress down here. So, um, your energy is the Empress Taurus. So it looks like your person could be a fire sign. Or they're certainly very passionate anyway. They don't have to be fire, but um, there's certain. I mean, you have so many counterparts in this reading. You have the King and the Queen of Swords. You have the King and the Queen of Wands. You have the Emperor and the Empress. Like this person is seeing you as the One, Taurus. They're gonna take a leap of faith towards you with this Fool card here. Um, 
If you've not met this person yet, you could meet them in work because you have the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here uh, and the Six of Cups here. So like it could be someone that you've kind of networked with already. Um, oh my God, why is it not focusing? There we go. Um, with the Six of Cups, it tends to indicate it's someone you already know, like or you, you're going to meet them through work or it's like... Maybe you met them a while ago and they kind of pop back up, you know, like um, if you were like a networking thing for work or like an old school friend or an old friend or something like that. Um, I don't see a lot of internet stuff here. Although you do have the King and the Queen of Swords, so there is like, I think there's good conversation to be had for you guys with the King and the Queen of Swords here. Um, they see you as someone very smart. They really do see you as someone that just has everything, Taurus, with the Empress here. Um, you know, she represents all four queens. So this person is seeing you as like someone that has everything, basically. Um, again, with this Ten of Cups here and this King of Pentacles, um, you know, you, this King of Pentacles here it kinda, is kind of looking like it represents your person. Um, or they're seeing you as the king of pentacles but you could be dealing with an earth sign here like I said you have all the signs here uh, with the king of pentacles that would be Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, but they're very well represented here they're very successful I, I would say you're dealing with someone pretty successful here with the king of pentacles and the emperor like um, and the King of Wands, this, it kind of represents boss energy, you know what I mean? Um, Gemini had a very similar person come in, maybe you're dealing with a Gemini or something, but um, maybe finally we're just starting to see the successful people coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> that would be nice. Um, yeah, King of Pentacles can be like some kind of leader, some kind of entrepreneur, like you can manage a team or something like that. But this person is looking for commitment, right? You're dealing with someone here that's looking for commitment. From a, If there's been a delay with this Four of Swords here, like if this is someone you already know and there's been a delay here, they've been healing from something. And if this is someone you've yet to meet, the reason you've not met them yet is because you're healing. Because that Queen of Cups is there. Um, you guys could be teachers. King of Swords and Queen of Swords. What is this? Okay, there's a decision here for someone. Who's the decision for, please? Who's the decision for? You know what, I feel like this is your person. Oh my god, look, another decision card. You have the Two of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Judgment, the Two of Wands. This, it's like four decision cards. Um, with the Seven of Wands there, this person's maybe been a little defensive with you in the past, Taurus, um, because there's something to do, there's some kind of regret here in their past, okay, with the Five of Cups. It doesn't have to be to do with relationships, that could be anything, you know. <laughs> like, that's the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords just randomly sticking their own way up. So there's been some kind of painful ending in this person's past, okay. This is why they're stuck in their head. This is why they've not come forward before, okay. Um, but, yep, yeah, you're about to get an offer. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You're about to get an offer. Temperance. So this person... Yep. Yeah, you're going to get an offer here. They're coming towards you. You have two of cups. Yep. Okay. So, just randomly pulling all the cards. Um, you have the, the Temperance card, right? So there's been a bit of a delay here because this person was kind of getting themselves back on track. Um, with the Six of Wands and the, the Devil card here, there's been some kind of victory, <clears throat> excuse me, over whatever this Devil energy was for them, which is it's something to do with their past, Taurus, like it's some kind of sadness, some kind of regret, some kind of painful ending, but 
that could be painful memories, you know? I mean, this could have happened to them a long time ago. You know, maybe they just kind of gave up on love and then like they met you and it was like, oh, you know, maybe I could do this again. But, you know, everybody heals at a different pace, right? So maybe it just took them a long time. Um, if this is someone that you've yet to meet, this is probably you healing from something here, Taurus, because your first card out was this Queen of Cups energy, which is a healing energy. It's actually um, an energy of boundaries, learning proper boundaries with people so you don't get taken advantage of and S-H-A-T all over. Um, you have the four of wands here. So this person had some kind of issue with commitment, right? You have the nine of wands here. It's possible they had a commitment in their past that went kind of belly up. But there was something here that kind of stopped them from coming forward because they had a, a weird thing about commitment, but they're healing from that now. Because I think the thing is with this person, they're a natural... They want commitment naturally, but something kind of scarred them in the past. So it's like it threw them off their natural course of like who who they are. Do you know what I mean? So it's not... I think you're dealing with someone that's not up for the, like... They're not like a one night stands person. Um, but like because they weren't really having a lot of luck with the commitment thing, they've, they've probably been on their own for a while. Um, you have the Page of Cups here. So you could be getting an offer from a younger earth sign here. Uh, <laughs> no, younger water sign here. That would be um, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Um, but yeah, that Page of Cups is like an offer that kind of comes a little bit out of the blue. It's a very sweet offer, like you're dealing with a very, very sweet person here. Page of Cups usually has like impeccable manners, um, very sweet, innocent type energy. Maybe a little too naive, you know, but they're coming towards you here with that Eight of Cups, with their, their cup of love, because that's the whole idea behind this Eight of Cups, see that gap? It's because this little guy in red has taken his cup towards you, Taurus. Union. Okay, Two of Cups. Union. Um, this person has had a lot of anxieties that they're putting down. Okay, and again, Page of Pentacles here. So, might be a slightly shy offer. You could be dealing with a younger earth sign. Might be a slightly shy offer because I feel this person has not done this a lot recently. I do feel like you're kind of you're dealing with someone that kind of wants commitment, but I think they, they were a bit, they kind of got a bit scared of commitment because it was something that happened in their past, you know, which is dreadful for them. But hopefully they, it looks like they've healed now, you know. Um, well, they've healed enough to come towards you, you know, and the rest of the healing will be done when you guys are together, right? Because not everybody, you know, you guys are going to heal each other. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, yeah, so listen Taurus, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to jump into the extended. Uh, for those of you not following me over to the extended, thank you so much for being here with me. Um, have, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of your day and lots of love to you. Um, for those of you who are interested in the extended, I'm going to be going into like what your person is like how they feel about you and um, what action they're going to take to us. So if you would like to view the extended, if you click on the join button underneath the video, YouTube should show you what to do after that. It's only, um, excuse me, it's £3 a month to join and then you have access to as many extended readings as you would like. So it's a good deal to us. Um, if I don't see you over there though, you know, thank you so much for watching and take care. Lots of love.